Hi, this is Christoph von Tommer, and today I'm going to introduce you to Spezzle. Um, Spezzle is a planning tool that we uh, developed in our in Pronofix uh, that will help you to make uh, specifications for websites that are actually implementable. It's it's never a problem if if you can do something. The, the question is always um, how much work will it be to do it? Maybe you'll be doing something in a certain way that's just a little bit different, and that way, poof, your budget goes like 80% higher. Um, so that's that's for that purpose we developed Spezzle, um, which is um, uh, a tool that uh, anybody can use. It's an open platform, um, and it's it's a bit of uh, peculiar in that it's a, a share or pay system. What does that mean? If you want to keep private specifications or private pattern collections, um, then you'll have to pay. Let me tell a little bit more about how, um, like, what are patterns and what are specifications. So, if you, if you can see the name Spezzle, Spezzle, you see Spezel. Spe stands for specification. So uh, Spezzle is, a, is a, a puzzle system for specifications. It allows you to puzzle together uh, a specification from existing uh, feature patterns. A pattern in, in Spezzle is um, a, a description of a feature with a whole bunch of other information uh, sitting in the background, hidden away uh, as um, metadata through the use of RDFA. It's quite technical, but what does it really mean is that um, you've got a piece of text that's readable for human beings, where it's connected to that hidden in information about how to actually do it. So, like, how would you do that in Drupal? We are also planning to have actual settings values so that you can say, like, okay, here, this piece of text, that's the title of the page. And that piece of text actually says that you should switch that button on, etc., etc. Ticket creation. So you can go and select a piece of text and say, this is a ticket. This is something somebody has to spend some time on further developing because it's not defined well enough. Or uh, this is a, a bunch of settings that have to be implemented. And then uh, we also have um, documentation in there for end users. So like when you build a site, often the documentation process that's done at the end of the project um, in Spezzle, you can actually recuperate a lot of documentation, reuse that in, in future specifications. And with the pattern, you can build a specification. That specification uh, has uh, different views, so it's, it has these um, view tabs uh, for, for feature specification. That's the thing that you know the project manager or, or the customer would give you with like all the features that they want. Uh, probably you collaborate on that to make it more implementable in Drupal. You probably would also, uh, you can also get the technical specification, which is like a document that describes how it will be done in Drupal. And then there's also the documentation uh, documents that you can then give to your customer. Besides of these um, documents, there's also uh, a bunch of other export possibilities. Um, in the first place, we've got uh, a ticket as export, um, uh, so that you can go and export those tickets, like and export it into your ticket management system. From within your specification, you can define what the tickets will be. Like later on, we're also planning RDF exports options, um, so that you can like look at what well, what are compatible uh, patterns, what is not compatible, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And what's probably the most interesting bit, we're also um, working on XML outputs or exports that can actually be used by the pattern module. So that you could just say like, okay, now please install this feature on my site without having to do any click work. And uh, voila, out of the box it works. Now that's a long way, but um, that, that's where we're going and that's what we're, where we want to implement later on down the road. Okay. So let's get back to Spezzle, the website. As you can see, we've got um, a couple of things here. My Spezzle, that's your own documents. Community, that's like community documents, like uh, patterns or specifications. The way that we are working in uh, Spezzle is that we've got this uh, collection concept. So basically, I already showed you what um, 
the specification is, I showed you what is a pattern. A collection is um, a collection of patterns and specifications. So then you can like, build a company's uh, collection, or you could build a public collection about corporate brochure websites, or whatever you want to do. Uh, the company collections, um, if they're closed, then you'll have to pay for that. Um, but anything that's open, anything that you're publishing freely and that people can collaborate on, um, that's free. Of course, you can keep uh, a document unpublished, but then you can't collaborate on it uh, unless you pay. So um, uh, let's start off with creating a specification. So um, this is the main like this is the, the heart of Spezzle. This is the uh, interface with which you can build patterns and specifications. And you see a couple of things. First of all, you see here these three tabs. Those are the three views that I was talking about. So you've got the describe, which is the functional specification, the develop, which is the technical specification, and documentation, which is the um, you know documentation. When you're building a specification, you also have this pattern step here. What is a pattern step? It um, provides you um, with a way to search for patterns that you want to go and implement in your specification. So for example, um, if you've got a, a brochure website, you could say like, okay, on my brochure website, I need an about page. So let's add that here. Okay. Um, probably I'll also need, let me see, um, I think I'll need a product page and static or dynamic. Let's read a bit what it says. So dynamic, um, that's basically with a separate content type. Okay, let's add that. Uh, let's add that here. Um, what else do we need? Maybe um, like a corporate site, what else do we have? Um, let's add a newsletter also. Let's add that also. Let's add that in the back. And um, yeah, and so on. Now, um, so now, well, what else can you see in this? Now, this is the describe view. You, you don't see any markup here. But if you go to the develop view, then you see that there's a lot more information in there. So basically, in the develop view here, you can see that um, like the the way you could implement this, like some some notes for developers, like so, how do you do this, right? Um, now, um, in the overview view, uh, you can also see all the attributes. So you can see like technical attributes. These are all technical attributes. There's nothing special here. It's all te technical attributes. Um, but first, let's start with uh, saving this pattern. So let's call it um, demo specification. Not this specification. Let's call it demo specification. Um, now there's, there's a bunch of options here. You can say like what site type it is. It's a corporate website. Let's see, corporate site. Um, I'm going to leave that open. Um, first, you have to save. So I'm going to save that. Um, but first, let me show you the, the markup system. Now, so when you click on markup, you get this markup browser. In the markup browser, um, you see there's different classes. Information, that's just for things like technical attributes and documentation attributes. So that's for like hiding stuff if it's not in the right pane. Okay. Um, the project management objects, that's the interesting stuff though. So for example, um, as a developer or as a normal user, you can say you can s assign uh, tickets to certain um, elements of text. So you can say, okay, this is a ticket. Oh, that's its title, and the rest that's its description. Okay, so um, let's save that. And then uh, later on uh, in the export tab, you'll be able to just export that into RSS. Um, but we'll get back to you once that's done. So that that was the demo. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as you can see, it's still a bit rough around the edges. Um, it's still pretty alpha, but um, we felt that it was time to come out and, and 
get some feedback. So if you're interested in this project or um, if you if you would be interested to become a, a tester, uh, just uh, go to spezzle.com, um, sign up for an account and we'll get back to you once we are uh, ready for the alpha release. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it.